What's good, everybody? My name is Cole, and welcome back to another video here at Cole Sports. And here, we're in the wild card. We're in the playoffs. Washington finally made it five, five long years waiting. And we're finally in the playoffs, but we're playing the Buccaneers, so we're probably not going to win. But let's go over the keys to victory here versus the Buccaneers. But again, it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a good, tough matchup. We're going against the GOAT. You know, we're going against Mike Evans, most likely, EB, Chris Godwin, you know, JPP, all those guys. So it's going to be a good matchup. It's going to be a hard matchup. And, you know, our last playoff win was 2005 versus the Buccaneers. And the Buccaneers, last time in the playoffs was in 2005 versus us. So I was like, hey, this and all this. So let's go ahead and get right in to the keys to victory the first one is to make brady uncomfortable we got to be able to get the ready you know when the saints beat them when the bears the chiefs the um what other teams beat? i'm trying to think but whenever you know the teams beat them they got sacks they got him comfortable you know it, you, you really got to make you know him uncomfortable gotta make brady frustrated you know he, when he's frustrated you know the, you know there's just some he, he gets pissed you know it doesn't work out it doesn't work out when he's ever frustrated you know, he, he just starts to overthink things, in my opinion, If he, whenever he's frustrated on the field. So get to him, get sacks. You know, I'm looking at four or five sacks this game. You know, Chase Young versus, you know, Tristan Wirfs and Donovan Smith. So is Montez Sweat versus Tristan Wirfs, Donovan Smith. Uh, Tristan Wirfs has been a heck of a tackle this year, a rookie tackle. Probably the best tackle out of this draft class, elite front of this first season. And Donovan Smith, he's been uh, he's been okay. He's been very inconsistent, I would say. And then we got to be able to get some interior pressure. That I would say that's their main strong point. I'm pretty sure. Again, I really don't watch the Bucks, so I'm not too sure. But um, for sure, got to get got to get to him, Brady. Got to get the Brady this game and make him uncomfortable. Next, you don't let up any big plays. You know, Kendall Fuller, um, <clears throat> sorry, um, Kendall Fuller and um, Ronald Darby, uh, Cam Curl. Jim Reeves, Troy Apke, um, Jimmy Moreland, all these guys, you can't let anybody get behind you. A Scotty Miller, A.B., Mike Evans, Chris, don't let anybody get open. Don't let anybody get behind you. If someone's behind you, it's game over. That's touchdown, especially if it's Scotty Miller. <laughs> but no, you, you can't let him, can't, don't let up any big, big plays because they can really expose us because, I mean, they got, you know, all these receivers and weapons a Gronk too, all these receivers and weapons to where they're gonna have to make you go into you know deep in your depth chart to where you know some of their bet you know when you have to line up you know your <laughs> your fifth cornerback on their you know their their fourth you know cornerback uh, or fourth receiver <laughs> that's still good that's like a you know a number three or number two receiver <laughs> but no you gotta don't let it big plays I mean you know you, out of all these you can't can't let up any big plays I think. You know, they got the weapons. Just can't. Don't don't let them use their weapons necessarily. But yeah, don't let them even make plays. Now, um, what I would see, I would like to see two turnovers. You know, either if you come fumbles, if it come from interceptions. Well, I would like an interception. Uh, like I would like two interceptions, but two turnovers. You know, get us in range, and hopefully we can score off those two the, those turnovers. But yeah, two turnovers for sure to win. Um, really get that ball back and get some momentum on our side. So. I'd really like to see some turnovers there next going to the offense where i think is you know kind of where we need to get things going because we know what we're going to get from our defense you know we're going to get a dominant play from them but next the defense our offense we've got to protect the qb if it's alex smith if it's tyler hennecke if steven montez has to go in there we've got to be able to protect our quarterback um you know they have what i think 48 sacks on the season uh jpp um who else they have don't they have still have sue I mean, you got you got Shaq Barrett coming back. I don't think they have Devin White because of COVID this week, so that's going to help us a lot. But you got to be able to protect the QB. They've been able to get sacks all year, and you know if we let up, you know, lots of sacks, it's not going to go well for this game. And you know we saw what happened. You know when we give up so many sacks, especially you know you look at the Rams game, that wasn't pretty at all. So got to be able to protect the QB. And I think that's going to be huge. I think that's going to be the biggest key. Protect QB, you know, give him, give him a shot. Next, got to get this run game going. Um, you know, got to, got to get all cylinders on the offense going, especially, in, especially in the run game. They got a, I, I would say they, they got a strong run game. 
Um, they've been solid against the run game all well. This defensive line from the from the Buccaneers have been strong all season, and we got to be able to get that run game going. We, we, I don't know what to explain. Protect the QB, get the run. Just got to eliminate, you know, that defense line. So this offensive line, they got to play one heck of a game today against this defensive line. And, I mean, we saw it. We we saw that we, we, we can, you know, win these type of games up front before. Um, but off the line is going to have to come in huge. Got to get this run game going. Got to protect the QB. Next, get the ball up fast. This is mainly when Alex Smith is in the game because I, I think we're going to be rotating QBs. But, you know, this is when Alex Smith is in the game. Got to get these, you know, curl, these short curl routes to Logan Thomas, these slants with Terry McLaurin. Um, Cam Sims, these slants. You got to do these natural picks that we saw a few times versus the Eagles in some of the games. So we got to guys, got to get guys open. Logan Thomas, again, he's been always very reliable this whole season. So got to get this game. You know, got to get um, get the ball out fast when Alex Smith is in the game. Um, you know, again, short curl routes to Logan Thomas, slants, natural picks, all that, you know, and we got to get this going now. And this is, you know, mainly with Taylor Henneke's in the game, obviously. You know, we can, we can you know, kind of, you know, expand, extend the playbook in a way. You know, we can take some shots down deep because he, he saw he likes taking shots down deep. Obviously, you know, we were in a situation where, where, you know, we had to make a comeback. But I think he took, like, three shots down deep. And, you know, we could have came back in that game if Cam Sims would have just caught that ball in the Panthers game. But, you know, we saw that pass to Cam Sims. It was good, you know, to take uh, to, uh who is it, J.D. McKissick for the touchdown. He can take shots deep. He can make it accurate. And, you know, he has the mobility to where he can escape, give himself time so to make those passes. So I would like to see him take some shots when he's in the game. So this is going to be huge. All of this is going to be really huge. So, I mean, yeah. when If he's in the game, which I think he will be, take shots deep. Got to, you know, got Because their pass defense hasn't been really good this year. Hasn't been good this year at all, really. So... Um, if we were able to expose that de that pass defense, those cornerbacks, that should be pretty good. And we should be hopefully able to win this game. So, again, let's go through this one more time. Make Brady comfortable. Don't let up any big plays. I want at least two turnovers. Protect the QB. Get the run game going. You know, when Alex Smith is in the game, get the ball up fast. And when Taylor Hennig is in the game, I want to see some uh, shots taken deep. So... That's what I'd like to see now. Do I think we win this game? No, I, I don't. I don't. I think we. I think we lose twenty-eight seventeen. Um, I think we get two touchdowns. I think you know we're able to get at least a turnover on like a tip pass or something like that. And you know, we're you know we we get about three sacks because I think their offensive line's not bad. You know, or three two sacks. But I don't think we. I don't ultimately think we win this game. And you know. I, it was a heck of a season, but hopefully we do win this game. It's 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 not it's not pot. It hold on, okay there we go. It's not impossible. We've seen the Bears, we've seen the Saints. I mean, I mean the Saints are a bad team. We've seen the Chiefs, obviously the red team, but I mean we we seen teams like you know the Bears do it, and I would say we're kind of on the Bears level in a way, and that's when they had Nick Foles. So. <laughs> So, I mean, it's not impossible, but, I mean, playoff Brady is a whole different monster that you do not want to mess with. But I don't think we win this game. Again, 28-17. to 17. Uh, I think the defense plays well, but I just, you know, I think our offense plays, you know, tries their best. And we're able to get 17 points on the board, and that's it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed this game. Not this game. <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed this video, as this might be the, the last keys to victory for the season as we might be going into the off season hopefully not hopefully hopefully not but i <laughs> hope you guys enjoyed and i'll see you guys next time don't forget to like subscribe and share